Hi everyone, welcome to a round of Otaku United AS. Please subscribe. Today we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation 3, the 20 gig model, and I'm going to be focusing on the sound levels and how to keep it, how to keep the fan from going overboard. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about really is just the system itself. So this is a Japanese model that was built back in, uh, I think the release was 2006, with the um, it came alongside the 60 gig model. Now one thing that this one, the one thing the 20 gig model doesn't have that the 60 gig model and all preceding models do have is the Wi-Fi. For this one you had to use an Ethernet connection. Um, one of the things I noticed when I had that when I finally got this system uh, honestly about four months ago in really nice condition well is that it wasn't really noisy and that is until keyword here is until I connected it to um, the internet and what I found is when the PlayStation 3 is running um, games, whether they be PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games, or PlayStation 3 games, with the internet running in the background, the noise levels tend to go up. Specifically, I'm talking about the fan. I don't know the technicalities behind it or the engineering behind it, but what I can tell you is that the internet does have some background functions happening, and that does seem to take a toll on the GPU. Um, which is causing the fan levels to increase. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a game and I'm just going to go ahead and play it um, for just a few minutes and you guys can kind of get an idea of what I mean by the noise levels. So um, I don't have this system connected to an Ethernet cable right now, but what I would encourage you to do is if you do have a 20 gig model, connect it directly to an Ethernet cable. Um, now, one thing I can tell you is before I start is that I have owned a 60 gig model before that was in pretty good condition as well. One of the things I noticed about the 60 gig model, however, is that regardless of whether it was connected or not, it was constantly loud. But that one had a wireless um, adapter, you know, that, that had, that's built in wireless. So I'm thinking that the Wi-Fi itself, the, the function for the Wi-Fi is constantly doing something, regardless of whether it's connected or not, which is causing some background functions to happen, which is also causing that, that noise level in the GPU to go higher. Now what I will say is when you're not playing games, the PS3 will stay very quiet. So let me go ahead and just switch it on. And we're gonna go ahead and swap over to the screen. Zoom on out. Alright, try to get a good view there of both the camera and the PlayStation running in tandem. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put on a game that eats a lot of uh, memory or makes the GPU work harder than it should. We're going to go ahead and start off with... Well, I thought I had it in here. Oh, I do. We'll go with Crisis 3 for right now. One of the things I really want you to notice too at the moment is that <coughs> the fan noises for the PlayStation 3 at the moment, it's off, or it's on, but it's, it's going at a very low speed, so you can't really hear it running. Now, if I take the camera and put it right next to it, you're gonna hear a slight hum. But I'm going to keep it at the distance that I have it because that's really what I want you guys to pay attention to. Uh, you know, it, it relatively it stays quiet through most of the playthrough. I think I have to play this game for about a good 45 minutes to an hour and a half um, before that fan kicks in. The reason for the difference because it depends on really the time of year if it's cool outside versus hot outside. But when I have that Wi-Fi running, uh, when I have it connected to um, not Wi-Fi, but when I have it connected to the internet, the system starts to get loud. I'd say within 10 minutes of play. So what we're going to do is just kind of test it. And let's go to resume.
Oh, just lost our channel there. Let's get back to that. Hopefully I don't die in the process. Alright. So obviously Crisis 3 is not the best version to be running on the PlayStation 3. However, I still enjoy it. And it does cause the fan to go and make a lot of noise rather quickly if you're using the original 60 gig model or if you have it connected to the internet. I will have to add also that I am using the... Um, this game is installed on the internal hard drive and it is using an SSD drive so that might be one another reason that's factoring into the it taking longer for the noise to kick in besides not having the uh, internet connected to the system at the moment let's see if I can get some action going here Alright, obviously I'm not... totally prepared to play this game, but we're doing okay. Okay, so the fan now is actually starting to kick in, so you can hear a slight hum, possibly, from the camera. I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way down, and you also hear my air conditioning also not at the same time, but that should not be that disruptive in terms of testing what we're testing for. Okay, now the fan is starting to kick on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this for another minute, then I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a PlayStation 2 game uh, in two ways. One without any enhancements and one with the enhancements. Both of which uh, PlayStation 3, 60 gig and 20 gig model when connected to Wi-Fi, at least today, will cause the fan to go into overdrive. But as you guys can see, it's staying fairly quiet. I've been playing now for, I want to say, a good five minutes, but I could be wrong about the time because I do not have a clock in front of me.
And that does it. Let's go ahead and sign out of the game. The system is making a little bit of noise right now, but this is typical for when the system first came out in terms of the noise levels, so it's actually quite low. And now we're going to go ahead and test the PlayStation 2 game. Galaxy Force. Alright, so let's find out where are you hiding? There you go. Okay, so now we're testing out the PlayStation 2, uh, our PlayStation 2 game on the PS3, and to test fan levels or fan noise to see if there is a significant increase in levels. Right now it is running a little high, because I just got done playing um, Crisis 3. And we're going to run Galaxy Force with and without enhancements for the PlayStation 3 through backwards compatibility on the 20 gig model to see if it increases the fan noise at all significantly. I am multitasking right now, so I'm not going to be very good at this game, but I'll give it some volume. For those of you that don't know, Galaxy Force 2 was released on both the Sega Saturn and PlayStation 2. This is the PS2 version we're need, obviously. And we're gonna go with Galaxy Force Neo. Now, typically speaking, when you play a PlayStation 2 game on the PS3 60 gig model or a uh, 20 gig model and even the 80 gig model when connected to the wireless network or wired network, even if it's running in the background, the system will tend to get a lot noisier a lot quicker than this, usually within two to three minutes of playtime. Now, I've been playing this, I'd say, for a good two minutes now, three minutes now. The fan levels have stayed steady. And again, this is coming right off playing Crisis 3 which does cause the system to go into overtime. And I know the system, I know Crisis 3 isn't the best version, but it is using the GPU in a pretty extensive way. So anyway, let's go ahead and test this with the graphical enhancements turned on and see if that does cause the fan to go on. I'm almost done with this level, so let's just finish this level first. All right, let's turn the graphical enhancements on. And I don't know if you can hear the fan, I'll be quiet, but it's fairly quiet itself. Smoothing 
on. And I'm dead. Okay. So again, it's not a very long video, but I just wanted to demonstrate um, how how to keep the noise levels of the fan from going up uh, if you have a uh, if you have a PlayStation 3 original 20 gig model, whether it's US or Japan. Just honestly, don't connect it to the Wi-Fi network. Um, what I would suggest is if you want to get all your um, DLC and all of your um, you know, games downloaded beforehand, or, uh, I'm sorry, let me say it again, but download all of your games and DLC beforehand, connect it to the Wi-Fi via the LAN connection, do all your downloads, you know, you can periodically update it once every few months if you need to, um, but yeah, playing the system without it connected to the internet with, um, uh, no LAN cable ins inserted into it, honestly keeps those fan noise fan noises down and I will make an, uh, another video probably within a week demonstrating how quickly it goes up when it's connected to the um, internet so that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed this once again if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe to Otaku United AS have a good day bye